everyone again and welcome to the video number 5. In this video we will be working in a model viewer in accordance with the resource manager and today we will be making a transport planning and direction planning. So first open the program and find your project from the list. I choose my sports hall and then I can see in my display. I can select the elements and have a navigation tree on the left and check if I have any mistakes. Basically those elements have been created in AutoCAD and uh, placed in database. I have also some settings for the display, what type of view I want to have and what information should be visible on my uh, preview mode. On the left we have navigation tree with sorted elements into groups like sandwich, wall and others. And now I will hide internal walls. I will be working just on sandwich walls. We also have summary of the project element ID and element mark with more detailed information regarding elements. And in modules, you can turn on and off the modules you want to work on. So first we will start with erection planning. So just hold control bottom and select the sequence you want to use and add elements to the list and apply. If you go to simulate a uh, section and set the elements for the erection se sequence, you can see the simulation of the erection planning, then select the dates you want to start and the date you want to end. And just play bottom and you can see the erection simulation. On the element ID you can see more information regarding elements and here we can sort elements by erection sequence and set the dates, the specific dates we want to erect them. So first day will be 28th. Then 29th. And so on. Don't forget to save changes. And now we will move to the transport planning, but we don't have any settings yet, so we have to move to the resource manager and go to settings, impact, and make a new factory. I will name this factory Strusoft. You can give some more uh, information about the factory. Open settings and add a new truck. Now we can have a vehicle st stack. I also give a new name and um, dimensions for this uh, trailer actually and how many tones it can handle. Then it's very important to make a transport template. We will be using it and we make a new template, save changes and add this Volvo uh, truck save changes and in divisions you should create a new division regarding transportation and save changes. To make a transport planning select again those elements and auto transport 
option and then type in load and delivery dates you can also specify the specific time that has to be delivered or, or loaded and you can also uh, describe a time interval and auto transportation planning is done we can see that we have two elements on each transportation uh, planning and we can set some status like planned or delivered but we can't do this do that because it's a future plan and we have some more options and also we can uh, move those elements from one planning to another one just cut them and paste to another one and now we will make a cast in planning and if I go to divisions I should have a production division and again save settings then we move to cast units and basically here we have all the information regarding the production tables uh, where the where we cast in materials so according to your production factory you can set up how many tables you have and what is the maximum size height and length once we have done settings go back to the model viewer and select the elements for cast planning select the date you want to start in this case it's 21st and then AutoCast you can see that the date is right and how long it will take and what tables you want to use then click start and if you go to cast you can see that you will have all the elements and it will take 61% of your production table and if you go to detail view you can see how it's being laid on the production table if I go back to the project manager and select elements ready for production it will be saved under my database and basically the same information will be shown in the project viewer I just save changes and if I refresh the program and the color uh, elements ready for production I can see which elements are already made and ready for production this is very simple program to navigate between the elements and uh, management now I will plot drawings but before I have to batch in a project manager once I have done that I can go back to my previous program and now we can plot drawings from here and then you will get settings that you can set up for your printing but every company has different settings and I have settings that first it will be exported to AutoCAD and then exported to PDF finally so it will take some time to open the AutoCAD and the program automatically does the PDF and here it is moreover you can select several elements at the same time and plot them with the same settings so this is very easy and simple